Good day, and here we are with something a little bit different. Instead of another Doom 2 or Doom 1 WAD, we're instead looking at classic Doom 3. Now, sadly, Doom 3 never had quite the modding community that Doom 1 and 2 had. Now, there are some pretty good mods for Doom 3, don't get me wrong. We're actually not going to play the intro because it's a little cheesy, and I've seen it plenty of times, and it's not something that I really want to waste too much time on. Really, the story from the intro is pretty much the story from the first game. Teleport is open, demons come out, and you must go shoot them. And so we leave the dropship carrying only a sidearm and a wicked looking knuckle duster. Where is it? All it looks like is I got gloves on. But yeah, this is classic Doom 3. This is where Doom 3 is more or less supposed to be like the original Doom. And that's really quite cool, I should have to say. Uh, now, this is not the original version that I played back in the day. Rather, this is a version that is, I think, a little bit older than the one I played, because the only thing we have here is the original Doom 3 shotgun, instead of a specially made shotgun for this mod. Now, the specially made shotgun had some wonky animations and was wonky in general, but it was still kind of cool. It was at least different. Uh, but you can't reload or anything like that. It's just classic Doom goodness. And we're playing this on Hurt Me Plenty because I don't want to die every two feet. Because it kind of me messes up the whole overall Let's Play flow. Oh, that was a sick dodge! Too bad he died instantly. That is one thing I will admit that modern games like to do, is that they like to not have persistent bodies. Well, there's a persistent body right there, so that kind of puts paid to that. But there's not that many games that have corpses laying around, and that really does draw down on processing power when it comes to consoles. One thing I do like, though, is uh, Quake 4 tried to justify it. And it justified it in an interesting way. Now, the audio for the game might be a little low, just because the audio controls for this particular mod are not that good. I mean, they're not bad. The audio controls aren't bad for this, but uh, it's hard to get the audio equalized just right. So it's better that you can hear me versus not. So let's charge across here and grab our mega armor. Our mega armored knobs. And really, I do like. I kind of do like the uh, more realistic nukage here, but it does look kind of like crap at the same time. It looks like a modern day version of that. Really, I think Doom 3 has aged exceptionally well in comparison to a lot of games from this particular era. I mean, id Software was always pushing the envelope when it came to graphics. But as, in, but as for Quake 4, though, uh, it was really hilarious how they did find a way to justify the corpses disappearing. And essentially, what they, what they did is they said that uh, the Strog were teleporting the corpses away to be recycled. Recyc! And, you know, that makes sense. I mean, to a point. At least they tried to explain it. I think that's a secret. Uh, if it is, it's not opening up. I can I can never remember the secrets on this level. So I don't even bother trying. Because I was like, who cares? Well, some must. But I do not. Well, that was marginally frightening. Actually recording this early in the morning instead of late at night. So I may sound a little tired. Ah, uh, but E1M1, you know, that is a classic level if ever there was one. Now, this does have really, has a really good metal soundtrack, but once again, I can't get the audio equalized very well, because either it's not, it can be nothing but gunshot sounds, just boom, 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 or nothing. You know, it's like, it sucks, but it's the best I can do. Hmm, maybe I can do a little bit better for you guys. I just thought about something. You know what I'll do for this particular Let's Play? To show you that I'm putting forth more effort than usual. I will actually go ahead... Now that, looks, that, that looks really cool right there. I do like that lighting. You know what I'll go ahead and do? I'll put some uh, uh, Doom Metal in the background. I mean, that's what plays anyway during this. So, and that's what sh we should be hearing now. It's just... Ugh. For whatever reason, this mod decided to forego realistic audio controls. Now, I will eventually do Doom 3 proper. Uh, but for right now, we're just going to stick with this. I've actually recorded an episode for this uh, way back in the day on the uh, main channel. But I did just like one level because I tried to do this nightmare. Really, nightmare on Doom 3 is actually pretty tough because like you go down to like uh, only 20 health just naturally. So you can only take a few hits. Which I guess is cool if you are a pro, a pro MLG who drinks gamer fuel by the gallon. But really, you know, Doom E1M1 is going to be remade until, like, we're playing these games on, on a fucking holodeck. And, like, I don't even mean, like, it's a holodeck level. 
I mean, like, we're going to have a holographic, you know, x86 computer, and we could be sit sitting there playing it. Now, that'd be kind of cool. I'd like that. That'd be like Doomception, as we like to call it. Now, I might also eventually do uh, Quake 4 as well, because Quake 4... As I've mentioned before, Quake 4, as I've mentioned before. Okay, I really do like this lighting here. I mean, I've played this before, but, you know, Doom 3 had some really, really good lighting. I actually remember reading about Doom 3 in Popular Science, of all things. Uh, people talking about just how gaming had advanced. Yeah, little did they know, little did they know it was gonna take multiple steps backwards thanks to Kawa. But, oh well. It's like, this still looks good even today. You guys gotta admit that. I mean, yeah, Doom 2016 looks great, but this still looks pretty damn good. I mean, to think this is... This is a game from, what, 2003, I want to say? Maybe 2004? Well, you know, really, 2004 or 2003, whichever one the case may be, uh, was a fairly interesting era for gaming, because we got Doom 3, and I think that same year we got uh, Half-Life 2. Uh, I still find it funny that playing Half-Life 2 for whatever... See, this actually is legitimately creepy in here. I mean, this this is cool. It, it really is. Uh, this is... You know, I've, once again, I've played this before, but I'm still... I like it when I get into these games, though. When, like, I'm, I'm, I'm just doing a Let's Play here of a game I've played before. I play this mod a lot because I like it, and yet now I'm not getting into it. It's like, damn, this is why I game. It's for times like this, you know? where you just get sucked into the game world. And like, I'm sucked into the game world right now. You know? And like, I didn't even mean to be. So yeah, Classic Doom 3 gives General Lots his happy place, as it were. Uh, but yes, Doom 2016 is great. Too bad there's no good snap maps yet, at least from what I've played, you know? It's like, there hasn't been a good E1, M1, you know, uh, redux yet. But I guess it's because Snap Map is very limited in in, in comparison to uh, the modding tools that you could that you'd have for, you know, this game. Doom 3 doesn't have the kind of mods that uh, Doom 1 has, but, like, you have this. You have that Event Horizon level, which we'll do eventually. Uh, can I jump in here? No, I can't. Damn it. You have the Event Horizon level. I mean, you also have uh, a Thief level. It might even be a full game, I forget. You got a thief level. You've even got a remake of uh, Hexen, of which you can only play as the uh, character class I dislike the most, which is the Crusader, just because I feel like he's just not as good as the others. You know, this could have been sold as like a legit game, and people would have bought this shit up like you wouldn't believe. I know I'd have bought it. That's why I always have such a hard time with like professional remakes, because they're never as good as what the fans can create. Because like this is good. This is just. I'm in my happy place right now, when I'm shooting the demon and not afraid of anything. Mega armor. And of course it's ultramarine colored. The ultramarini are the greatest of them all, as John Hurt would have you know. Even though I don't particularly agree with it. Always been a Grey Knights man myself. Because the Grey Knights are the awesome. See, the Grey Knights, I consider them Space Marines because they have, you know, all the Space Marine, uh enhancements and things like that. I almost said the Space Marine remakes. Yeah, they got super graphics. Super graphics. Now you're playing with power. Super power. This, this is not a very long, you know, mod here, so we probably only get maybe, you know, one or two episodes out of here, because I know it like the back of my hand, so to speak. One of the best aspects about this, though, this particular uh, mod, is it changes just enough. That That's really the interesting thing. It all comes down to balance, you know? This is like what you would expect from a remake. This is what you'd want from a remake. And I will admit to you guys something. Back when Doom 3 first came out, I did want the Imp to look like the original Imp. I was like, okay, it's gonna look exactly like it did back in the day, and it'll be amazing. And then it didn't. But the Imp has grown on me. The new one, anyway. And the overall aesthetic has indeed grown on me as time has gone on. But I was, I will admit, a little disappointed that it wasn't exactly the same. But, you know, I like this because it is exactly the same, but it's it's just different enough to be absolute perfection. It's like, this is the kind of modernization of Doom that I wanted. Well, no, it's the kind of remake of Doom that I wanted, I should say. And, you know, Doom 2016 does its own thing, and it really needs to. You can't just have the same game remade multiple times, otherwise you end up like fucking Nintendo doing, Mar doing Mario World 80 billion times. 
But I guess it works for them, but still. I mean, I want, you know, change. I want, I want new stuff in these games, you know. I don't want just the same crap over and over again. Well, it's not even the same crap. Just, just, I don't, you don't want the same stuff over and over again. So this is fun to play through, but I'm also glad that we have changes in the overall Doom formula. I mean, that's why I like the uh, glory kill system as much as I do, because it is something new. It is not something you've really seen before. And some and, and the people who detract from it might say, well, it's not been seen for, for a reason. Well, I think it works well. I, I really think it's a, a very interesting new concept. And let's be happy that at least it's a new concept. It, it, it's something that we should appreciate in gaming, especially today, you know, where everything has to be so safe, you know. Man, this is fun. I mean, th th I'm legitimately enjoying myself. I, I just I just can't believe I'm enjoying myself as much as I am. Because I just am. I'm just, like, so into this right now. I am so into this, man. It's just crazy. Geralt is shooting the alien and is not afraid of anything. This is just so cool to play this. It's like, this is the kind... Th this, this game right here is kind of like, if you're going to remake a game, don't... No, I put it another way. Remakes of classic games, I think, are kind of stupid in a wide variety of, for a wide variety of reasons. Really, Doom 2016 is not a remake. Doom 2016 is a sequel in just about every regard. You know, or it's what I like to call a remake. -able. It's it is a remake -able in in every conceivable way. Like like with Star Wars Episode Seven, it is a sequel, but it also is a remake because you know it has some of the original concepts. I mean, you play as Doom Guy, you know, after being unsealed from hell, you know. So it just, it works in that regard. But if you're going to do a graphical remastering or something, do it like this or do it like uh, uh, Halo has done. You know, what they did with Halo, I think, is one of the smartest ideas imaginable. Uh, they did not, you know, reimagine... Halo 1, they just took the original game engine and gave it better graphics. And, you know, this, and it worked. It's like with this, you know, this is what we want to see when we want to see modern day Doom. You know, in the Xbox version, that guy right there, the uh, shield guy, and I'm glad he didn't show up in the Xbox version because I would have died to him a bunch of times, but that shield guy right there, uh, he wasn't in it. And what's funny is back when I first got Doom 3, I got it for the Xbox, because all I had at the time was the original Xbox. And while the original Xbox was crappily made, like, mine was starting to go out the first goddamn year. Okay, the first year. That's just shitty in, in, in a, for a wide variety of reasons, okay? It should last more than a goddamn year, especially how much that thing costs. But, like, okay... Uh, the Xbox version was the one I played first, and it did not have the uh, shield guy at all. But I bought the uh, instru not the instruction manual, the uh, strategy guide for the Xbox version by accident. So that was actually somewhat amusing, really. So it's like, where's the shield guy? He never showed up. One thing I really did like about the strategy guide is the fact that uh, it had all the uh, gubbins in it. Uh, the things. You know, the things? What was it? The, uh, the, the security codes, that's what it was. Because that was a big deal with this, you know, it had all the security, the security codes for the security lockers, you know, that was kind of cool. You know, I, I, I like to see stuff like that, you know, early 2000s games, you know, they, uh, were a little bit more complex than the Kawas that would follow on. I think we'll call it an episode after the, actually, you know, this isn't really long enough. This will just be, you know, one long playthrough. Well, actually, it'll probably be an average length playthrough, just because we're flying through it with the greatest of ease. But it was always cool about the... The, the, the coolest thing about early 2000s games is they really just had such an emphasis on discovery on your own, you know? Because Doom 3 was indeed linear, but it really... It was really cool to listen to these audio logs and read... Ooh, we got the minigun! The minigun's kind of cool! I feel it's kind of, it's not as good as it could be just because it's a very simple model. Wow, I'm taking a shitload of damage from these guys. I'm not actually kind of waste or bullet the shotgun is as good as it should be. Doom 3 shotgun is pretty hilarious though in that it is very, very close range. 
in real life, uh, shotguns aren't quite as close range as this. This shotgun is still weird, just because like, it's a pump action, but it's got the charging handle. The Spaz-12 does have the ability to switch from uh, pump action to... Actually, let's get out the chain gun. Uh, it does have the ability to switch from semi to pump action, but Spaz-12 is actually not that amazing in real life. In real life, it's not that cool. Uh, it has a lot... It has, like, a lot of parts breakage, and it's very expensive. Especially compared to, like, uh, Mossberg 500 or something like that. Really, even the Mossberg 500 is a little expensive. Like, if you're just getting into guns and you just want a basic shotgun, I'd recommend the Maverick, Maverick 88. It's not as good, in my opinion, as the Mossberg 500. Well, we're taking a shitload of damage. I'm glad I put it on Hurt Me Plenty. But, like, it's not... The Mossberg... Or the Maverick 88 is not as good in some respects... But as a as a base shotgun, it does good. I mean, the reason I say it's not as good is because it has a uh, uh, the safety. I don't like where the safety's mounted. The Mossberg 500 has a tang mounted safety. Uh, essentially, it's an ambidextrous thing that you can reach. Whereas the other one has like a, a cross bolt safety. I'm, I'm thinking that's what it's called. I can't really recall the appropriate term, but it, it, I don't like where it's where it, where it is, but other than that, you know, it's pretty much the same gun. And you can still get all the, I think you can get all the same kind of stuff for the Maverick 88 that you could for the Moss. And what, one upgrade I always recommend to a shotgun is put a red dot on it, or a scope. A shotgun is more accurate than Doom 3 here would lead you to believe. Uh, with rifled slugs, and what I mean by rifled slugs is you want to get those slugs. I always like the new pinky. It looks so scary looking. It was so big and it made you feel like you. It made you feel menaced. Realistically, uh, this is probably the scariest the pinky has ever been. Wow, he did a shitload of damage. Let's save, shall we? We have not sha shaved yet. We have not saved yet. Uh, let's just. Oh wait, there we go. Let us shave real quick. Okay, there we are. But, you know, the pinky in Doom 1 was not really what you'd call scary. And the pinky in Doom 2016 also does the same thing. It, it looks kind of goofy, whereas here it looks pretty creepy looking. Really, all the enemies in this game are really creepy looking. But I'm glad they kept the imp looking pretty creepy in uh, Doom 2016. But really, the imp here is the creepiest it's ever been. And I find it interesting that Project Brutality actually keeps the uh, actual behavior of the Doom 3 imp versus the Doom 1 imp, because I kind of liked that about it, where it was jumping around and shit like that. Jet, run! See, they're easy to kill, but they can do a, da can do a good amount of damage to you. But, yeah, it, putting a red dot on a shotgun is not a bad idea, because shotguns, you can actually get good accuracy out to about 50 yards, and I don't know what that is in meters. I only u only use American uh, measurements because they're the only appropriate ones. But anyway, that aside, I see that's kind of a cool little effect. But uh, yeah, you can you can actually hit pretty well with a shotgun. They're not limited to two inches away. So, but that but that's if the, if they were uh, as accurate in real life as they are in games, you know, it'd be rather silly in some respects because then you might as well not even have any other, well, in Doom you don't even need any other gun, but still you know, it's like a shot. the shotguns, the shotguns is not unsung but I think it's one of the most misunderstood guns, really and I think people don't give it enough credit, because like you can get, I was getting 50 yard accuracy you know, with a red dot with a shorter barrel shotgun, you know, like 20 inches like, you don't need a goose gun to get really, really good accuracy. But it also comes down to the ammo, though, because you're not going to get 50-yard accuracy with, say, Buckshot or something like that. Because, you know, it does have a spread, but if you got one solid chunk of lead going... And also, it's designed... I kind of like that invisible... Whoa! He did a shit... He's do... Oh, shit. Shoot him! Oh, 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 oh. That guy... See, even on Hurt Me Plenty, he got me down to fucking five health. Well, that was, uh... That escalated quickly, didn't it? Oh dear. Now here's hoping none of this audio desyncs. But even if it does, I'll resync it myself if need be. Let's hope I don't, because I still suck at that. But I am gonna 
give you guys a special treat of putting, you know, the Doom Metal soundtrack on here. Because I've downloaded so many of those, because they are really, really good. So I think we're just going to make this one video, so I'll put the credits in there. That way I don't just use it without... Well, actually, you know, it's funny. I wouldn't have to put any credits if I could just use the soundtrack from here. Actually, no! I know what I'll do! Because I've downloaded this soundtrack, now that I think of it. Uh, I've downloaded the Classic Doom 3 soundtrack, so I could literally just pop that in over there. Well, brilliant. General Lutz. Efficient and lazy all at the same time. I'm efficient, so I can be lazy. At least that's the way I see it. Oh, uh, this is... Why would you need to research toxic? You know, it's like... That's something that never made a lot of sense, that green nukage, as it's called. Why would you just let slime just sit around? I think their maintenance department leaves something to be desired. This, this part of the level has always kind of got me killed so many on so many occasions, you know? Because, like, those two things open, and you're kind of funneled into one little area. But, you know, this... Really, E1M1 is just excellent to me. It just has such a good flow that a lot of other wads really lack, you know? Even even the other do even the other original Doom episodes, I just feel like it lacks the flow of E1M1. Cause like when you really get in a zone with Doom here, you can just shoot, shoot, and shoot some more and just really have a grand old time. Whereas with the other ones, it just the other ones just end up being too long. Let's get away from that explosive barrel. Move! Get out the chain gun and chain it up. But the other wads just go on over long. I'm gonna die. Just hold down that fire button. It's time to take old painless out of the bag. Uh, the chain gun. How fun. I'm not even gonna try to get over there. Cause I know if I do, I'll die from the fucking sludge. From the nukage. Uh, before I even make it. <sighs> I'm in my happy place for the moment. Shit! Well, I would be until I got clawed by a fucking imp. Now, I'm, I'm tempted to hit the F5 key and assume this is the quick save. And it is! Yay! Ah, uh, quick save. Remember that? Thanks, Kawa. That's the one thing that I will complain about in uh, Doom 2016 is that j there's no quick saving anymore. Not that you really need it, because I will admit Doom 3 can, well Doom, not Doom 3, uh, Doom Doom 4 can be a little easy at times, but really, I think Doom 3, or Doom 4, ugh, Doom something, or, shit, another one, I didn't even see him. Probably doesn't help that I can't really hear the enemies, you can only see them, because I have the audio down so low, so it doesn't drown me out. But that's the one thing about 2016 that is a little annoying, but it's not really, I guess it's really annoying, though. I like the idea of flow, and that's really the one thing I always wanted anyway, but there are some parts of 2016 that do go on over long. Uh, even early in the game it goes on a little over long, and that's, uh... The, the, the one thing I... The one part from early game that I didn't like was the foundry level. And I'm not gonna complain about this in the review, possibly. I haven't actually finished the review as of this recording yet. So I'm not sure if I'll, if I'll complain about it or not. I'm tempted to, though. Because the foundry part of the early game just goes on so long. Let us quick save. It really does. You know, it's like... And it really is completing the same mission over and over again of go destroy the gore... The, not the gore fast. That's another fucking killing floor enemy. Uh, go destroy the gore fountain, gore something, gore pile. I don't know what it's called, but... It's this thing where you gotta rip out some sort of demonic eye. And you gotta do that multiple times, and the foundry just... It, it goes on a, a very long time, I feel. Because it's just the same location over and over again. But, you know, I mean, I guess they've got to maximize the levels. But I won't ever complain that Doom 2016 is short, that's for sure. Damn, that was a hard game to actually finish. I haven't had a first-person shooter that long in a long bitty time. Now, how many times am I gonna say long? I don't know. GO LONG! Now that looks very Quake 4, or, or very Quake 2-esque. They got like torsos just hanging around. Although Quake is, uh, shit, 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 dead. Okay, at least I only died once. That's something at least. I think after this, uh, well, maybe after this level we will cut it into two videos. Uh, let's load the quick save. Oh shit, quick save time. Whatever next. 
perhaps next to now we're of course running this like at a really low screen resolution because I don't I don't have the uh, HD patch installed and in fact I think it didn't even work for whatever reason and honestly I don't care I mean it looks good enough to me and I have the skills the mad skills necessary to actually uh, Fix the screen resolution, or not the screen resolution, but make sure it doesn't just uh, go letterbox. Well, not well, not, not letterbox. Uh, four by whatever. Ultimately, I'll make it fill the whole screen. There was a time when I couldn't do that, and realistically, you're not supposed to do that anyway because reasons. Where's my flashlight? I do I, did I not grab the key? Oh, I didn't open the door. Oh, there's a key. I guess I didn't. Okay, let's quick save. Oh shit! Quick save time. We were doing pure PC gaming. Although, you know what's interesting about the original Doom 3? On the Xbox, at the very least. On the original Xbox, you could save whenever you wanted, which I really quite enjoyed. Because Doom 3, back then for me, was a bit tough. Uh, apparently it seems a bit tough here, but... It was a bit tough back then, so I needed to save all the bloody time so I didn't have to constantly keep going through the same areas over and over again. I think we're also going to see a Let's Play of the... Uh, I do like how the screen shakes the thing walks around, it does help act as a good visual cue. Since I am deaf in the game. I've had deaf. Come on, shoot him. Okay, save again. Oh, that was really stupid. I don't I don't know what the quick load key is right now. Okay, come on, let's that's why would you want to restart the whole level back? You know, having played UAC Ultra recently, can you imagine? I actually Oh no! Okay, okay, we got we got to be in the zone. We got to be in the zone. We got to be in the zone because we got to move the second we spawn in. I've literally, I've literally, shit. Okay, okay, okay. We gotta be, we gotta be, you know, fucking on the ball, on the ball. Ugh. Okay, we're not gonna be able to turn. We got, we gotta do it. We gotta do it. I don't want to go all the way back. I don't want to go all the way back. Okay, and we turn and shoot. Nope. Okay, this is real. This shit be real. Is this, a, this is how it always used to go back. The day! Uh, okay, we'll try it two more times, and then we'll literally go through the whole level again. Yeah, okay, that's one. And that's two! Shit. Okay, we on Phobos Labs? I'll assume we're on Phobos Lab. You went M5, okay, yeah we are. Alright, well, that's how it used to go back in the day, you know? Where you'd quick save and you'd have like a fraction of a second. I guess it's too early for my brain to be working, but like, we have like a fraction of a second to react. And that's what I used to like to do. I, that reminds me, and I'm, I'm, I'm sure this has been mentioned in other Let's Plays, but like, Rise of the Triad, when I first beat the Shareware episode, because Rise of the Triad... A lot of those old games are really tough, you know? It's amazing how uh, kids were able to beat anything back then. And we will call it an episode after this level and finish it up in another one. But it is interesting how kids were able to just beat those games back then. That's why, you know, the whole concept of making things easy, easier and easier, is kind of silly because, well, kids used to be able to do it. And they did it well, you know? But, like, finishing something like... Uh, Rise of the Triad was not easy, especially when those guys with the uh, bulletproof vest showed up. They had like a fucking assault rifle, or a rifle calibered carbine, there we go, that's more accurate. And all you'd have is an MP40, and who knows where that fucking thing came from, seeing as how that game is supposed to be one year from today. So what, 96? You have any idea how much an MP40 costs? I'm pretty sure the non-gun gun owners amongst you probably don't know, but an MP40, an original MP40 made by the Germans, will probably run you about 20k, 20 thousand dollar dues. So I don't think some cult is gonna be able to afford enough MP40s. And the thing is, why would you buy a bunch of MP40s? It's one of the things like, why don't you get a buy, buy a bunch of AKs or something a bit better than? A World War II vintage submachine gun. Now the MP40 was a very, very good submachine gun, uh, but yeah, you you wouldn't be you wouldn't be outfitting your troops with a twenty thousand dollar submachine gun that is literally you know eighty years old at this point. 
or at that point, oh, close to 80 years old at that point, I suppose, because that was the 90s, but yeah, it's like, I get that it's styl stylistic, but I still have to make fun of it, because I'm a gun owner, and know that kind of stuff, I'm a gun nerd, okay, we're gonna run past these guys, and hopefully not die, get a quick save, uh, and we're gonna get out our chain gun that I said was useless, you know, it's, shit, I fucking hate those invisible pinkies, they seem to be worse here than normal. And this is all gonna hurt me plenty. Do I just suck that much, or is it just too early for me to be playing games? I don't know. Okay, let's chop him apart with massive leaden death. Now, there actually are some reproductions of the MP40. We're already out of bullets. Some reproductions of the MP40. You can actually get a airsoft gun that looks like an MP40. That is supposed to even feel like one, actually. It's supposed to have some metal bits. I never really got into airsoft... Uh, but at some point, I would like to get in paint, into paintball. I enjoyed uh, laser tag. Laser tag is a lot of fun. Uh, there's actually a laser tag not too far from where I live that I've gone to on occasion. And enjoyed it immensely. But one thing about airsoft... What's funny is there's actually some places in the world where you have to have a license to own an airsoft gun because reasons. Because if it even looks like a gun, it must be evil. That's why the whole assault rifle thing is so hilarious to me. Because, okay, an assault rifle only counts is it an, an assault rifle essentially has to be a weapon that can toggle from single shot to uh, full auto. If it can't do that, it's not an assault rifle. All it is is a multi-shot carbine. Just because it looks like something doesn't mean it is. So, like, if you bought a 22 caliber MP40, of which that exists... Uh, in fact, I'd like to get one one day, but... Yeah, well, I'm not. I'm not about to spend you know four hundred dollars on a twenty-two, just because it looks cool. But yeah, you know, like just because it looks like an MP40 does not mean it is one. You know, it's just it's silly. It's people who don't know what they're talking about pretending like they know what they're talking about. Kind of like mall ninjas. Got to have the latest AR-15 rifle with all the gubbins on it. When in all reality, you know, the SKS still is supreme in my opinion. I'm a big fan of the SKS. To me, that's like, you know, the greatest rifle of all time. And it really is one of the best values when it comes to a rifle. I mean, it's like... It's cheaper than an AK. But it does the same thing as an AK can do. You know, and that's why... For me, I like simple but practical. I mean, that's just... That's how I grew up, you know? It's like... It might not be the fanciest thing in the world. You know what? Does it shoot? Does it shoot every time? Yes why in this game we've got the shotgun here. I wonder who manufactured this shotgun. Obviously in, the, in terms of for the game it's like UAC has a firearms division. I can just imagine uh, General Lots the third in the 2100s. 20, you know the UAC shotgun it's cool and all but you know the Mossberg 500 still ranks. Ooh! What is this? I don't remember this. Oh, and Berserk! Except I'm trapped! Wait, no, can I smash through? No. Well, then, what's the point of getting Berserk here? Oh, it's got all the, uh, the flame zombies that show, showed up, like, one time. Ooh, that's kind of cool, dude. I think that's, uh, that's a hell zombie, actually. Okay, that's cool, like, the flame zombies showed up. Okay, I did not remember this part of the level. Well, I can't seem to hit anything. They really made the Berserk in this a lot creepier. The whole thing about Doom 3 is, the game is creepy, you know? It is a super creepy game. They definitely went for the horror aesthetic a lot more, and I'm glad they did. I liked Doom being scary, you know? And it's not like it turned it, it's not like, you know, the horror aesthetic turned Doom into like, you know, fucking, oh no, 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 shoot, no! Ah! That is the one part of one problem with those pinkies is they can just literally rape you in the corner, and I hate, hate that. Okay, we're not gonna bother with the uh, berserk pack. Be nice if I could see. That's one of the other. That's the one problem with it being dark. Is it's very hard to actually see the enemy, and not be afraid of anything. Shit, he's gonna kill me again. Yep, he did. He fucking killed me again. Absolutely brilliant. I don't remember it being this fucking hard. <sighs> okay, let's grab that. Okay, let's charge past, as is our want to do. And we will hold the line. Well, I had like a rocket or something. Oh, great! Shit! 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 I can't! I can't move. 
I cannot move. I am stuck here. And they're just gonna fucking rape me in the corner. Yet again. Absolutely brilliant. Oh, it's always that. It's one of those moments in this game, isn't it? Where, like, I am dying. And, like, oh, I'm having fun. Now, 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 now this shit's gonna get real. And there's gonna be that. There's always that one enemy. And it's never a boss enemy, you know? That's the problem with bosses. Because, like, there. You can have good boss fights here and there, but there's always that one enemy, or that one moment in the game that's harder than a lot of the others. And this is that moment. Where we've died a shitload of times with these guys. Okay, let's save. I should have quick saved after I got that really cool Berserk pack, but at least you guys got to see it, even though technically in terms of the game it doesn't matter. I will blow him up with that. I will fuck him up for daring to kill me. Let's quick save again. At least we got to the exit. We, I could have just charged to the exit, but I didn't know that's what that was. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we have... Oh, please see a medic soon. Oh, go fuck yourself. In the event, we have successfully completed this level after being killed by those goddamn pinkies. And so I'm General Lots, wishing you good in tech 4 engine, good in tech 2 engine, or whatever makes you happy.